My guess is that people will sort of watch their health in a way that's a little closer to the way that they watch sort of financial portfolios and things than uh, well, that's, that's uh, than a what happens alarming. Now. Yeah, right. <laughs> but but you know, so what happens in, in finance, for example, you can say, well, there are these symptoms of what's going on with some stock. It has some wiggle that looks like this. You know, if you're a technical trader, you say, well, that wiggle looks like you know a head and shoulders effect or something like this. And then you say, well, given that, well, I should buy, sell, whatever I whatever I should do. Um, you know, but in fact, we know that uh, in the finance area, um, it's much more, you know, given this particular behavior, we have some algorithm, the algorithm decides what to do, and, and we go on from there. My guess is that in sort of the medical world, it will be much more like that. There'll be a lot of sensor data that's coming in. You'll see all these curves. There'll be all sorts of detailed effects in those curves, some of which you'll be able to describe in some sort of uh, easy linguistic way, others of which are just, well, it's a, it's a wiggle in the curve, and there's nothing particularly to call it. Um, the, um, the thing that, um, and then what will happen is um, there's both a certain amount of human uh, you know, looking at these curves that will happen, just like there is in, you know, in financial kinds of things. Um, but there's also potentially uh, lots of algorithms that you get to, to use to decide what to do. So I, I'm guessing it will be sort of sensors in, algorithms to decide what to do, uh, potentially algorithmic drugs and various kinds of uh, algorithmically oriented medical devices. Right.